Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Lakeland Drug Company has been Lakeland's hometown pharmacy since 1950. They're more than just medicine, offering personalized service, a drive-up window, and a delivery service. Located at 42 West Main Street in Lakeland, Georgia, you can call 229-482-3677 or visit them online at lakelanddrug.com. Lakeland Drug Company, more than medicine and a proud supporter of Lanier County Bulldogs. It's that time of year again. Time to embrace our community. Time for individual preparation to pay off and collective performance to reach new heights. So we join together and work to strengthen our bonds because it takes a community to achieve greatness. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, always the home team. All right, we welcome you back here to the Lanier County Network. That boys action about to start here in a half a minute here in Clinch County. And I'm Clint Brown and here along with Eric Rowan and Jeremy Lewis. Here on the Lanier County Network, we got starting lineups about to get underway. Starting lineups over here tonight in Homerville. You did was going to start Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> That's right. This is uh, second game with the team this season. He uh, played last night as Clinch County defeated Telfair by 12. They was losing by three at the half and he came back and won it late. That puts uh, the size advantage uh, almost equal. <laughs> no, nah, we still got the size. Of oh, them. I know. You look out out on the court now. Uh, other than Jeremiah Johnson, they got no height. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 they got a tall tree now. I mean, now Def unlike it was in, in Lakeland. Yeah, definitely gonna help defend the Mars. Yeah. He killed him in the paint yep. last Saturday in Lakeland. The ball and tip. he's got the Bulldogs controlled opening tip. Yep. C.J. Johnson will get us underway here. Kyle with the ball gets it over to Pope down to Amari. We get it to him early. Nice move. And, and Goes gets to fouled. The rim. Foul. And foul quickly on Johnson. That's what we need to do. That's right. Man, lot does seen an and one there. But yep. Nice move there by McGriff to the basket. Jeremiah Johnson picks up a quick foul. 
So 17 seconds into the game. Makes the first free throw, and that'll put the Bulldogs on the board first. Second free throw on the way, and that's no good. Your Bulldogs in black. Pitch County in your home whites. And them unis are sharp. Glenn. I like the black ones. I like them. Jeremiah Williams pulls up from the free throw line. That shot is no good. Rebounded by Kyle. And C.J. Johnson bringing the ball across half court. Pull up a shot of his own. That's no good. Rebound by Johnson. Almost a steal by Quan, and a shot by Talbert, no good. Zach with the rebound, and he gets – He nothing. just throws it out of bounds. Yeah. And he's – Oh, we're going to have an overrule. The other yep, officials yep. going to say that it was tipped out of bounds. McGriff blocked the shot. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We start it. Let's go again. Mitch throws it in. Yeah, Robbins no, shoot no, a three-point shot. That's up yeah. and in for Robbins. Mitch County takes the lead, 3-1. Early in the ball game. Pope down low. And he'll be stripped and there's a scuffle for it. And we're going to have a, a jump, ball. jump ball. Will be mm -hmm. Panthers basketball. 6.47 left in the first. Robbins will throw it into Talbert. Talbert will drive. He'll dump it off. Ooh, block. Uh, gonna put me a, on Kyle. Gonna have a foul, but uh, Amari denied the and one. So that'll put number four for Clinch County. That is Anthony Ingram. And his first free throw on the way, and it's good. Ingram's second free throw on the way, and it's no good. Rebound by Ka or Amari. 6.30 left in the quarter. CJ, nice That's move to the rim, puts just, it up and just in. Just went right through him. He did. 4-3, uh, clinch ahead. EJ on Zach Robbins. And he almost stepped out of bounds and a steal by Quan. And he goes up and jams it in the ball. Two-hand jam, or one-hand jam by Quan Pope. Gives the Bulldogs the lead. Pass down low to Ingram, and that's up and in. Panthers come right back. CJ puts the shot up. No good. Rebound by Mari. And he's fouled again, and this time it's on Ingram. Put McGriff at the line with a chance to tie or take the lead. Man, that was a sweet dunk by Quan. That was. Man, man. golly. Free throw on the way is no good. Two team fouls on clinch, one on your Bulldogs. Second free throw on the way, and it's good. good. Tied at six. Talbert pulls up, shot is no good. Ball's tipped around, rebound by CJ. And he looks to push it. And we what don't have a, Oh, they had a kid on the court, so oh, okay. official timeout, stoppage yep. of play here, so Bulldogs are inbound from the sideline. Man, that stinks, because we, we, we got the momentum. Well, and CJ could have been called for a carry right yeah. there. Yeah. So may have been good <laughs> yeah. that that kid ran out there. <laughs> Mari tying his shoe. EJ will throw it in to EJ. And Mari loses the basketball, and Clinch County comes away with it. Ahead to Jeremiah Williams, and ball's tipped out of bounds by Jeremiah Johnson. Be Bulldog basketball, 520 left in the first. That's right. 
I thought Kyle got a hold of it, but he didn't. So that was no, Kyle did tip it, but Johnson tipped oh, it after oh, okay, he did. Okay, okay, I didn't see Johnson tipping it. Yeah, they both did. Okay. Now, I thought they didn't see that, but oh, bad uh, pass by CJ. Well, a little miscommunication yep. there. The ball goes out of bounds, and Rashad will check in for uh, C- no, Kyle. Kyle. So we'll go a little smaller here. Tied at six. A little smaller, but a little quicker. I think rest getting them untangled early. Trying to keep control of the game. They tried to get it down there to Johnson. Ball tip. He was wide open for yep. a moment down there, and I don't know why they didn't give it to him, but they are pushing and shoving down there underneath the paint. They are. Three-point shots up. That's no good. Rebound by McGriff. He said ahead to EJ. Oh, that's and an easy layup. Up and in by Rashad. That'll give the Bulldogs the lead. And Zach Robbins going to throw up another three. going to call foul. Call foul Rashad, I think. Who'd they call it on? Did uh, they call it on Rashad? It's his number 11? Yep. He yep. said one and one. Yeah, that's Rashad. So Jeremiah Johnson at the line, two shots. Mm-hmm. Got a timeout called by Clinch County, be a 30 second. So we'll stay here and very back and forth ball game here early. That's over here it. at Homerville. <laughs> 429 left here in the first quarter. Both of these teams showing a lot of intensity to start this one. And I'm going to be honest with you, had we not fouled there, um, McGriff could have almost been called. For, he almost had a goal 10 right That's there. That's right. That ball was on the way down. He just almost tipped it. <laughs> Get back to action. Jeremiah Johnson will be at the free throw line. It's, it's kind of interesting. They posted Quan up there on Jeremiah and pushing Amari, Amari out, 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 you know, closer to the free throw line. Yeah, uh, they switched them off there, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. First free throw on the way, and it's good. Which I think Quan can handle him. I think so. Johnson's second free throw on the way, and it's no, no good. good. And there's going to be a rebound by Rashad. So 425 left CJ with the basketball. Bulldogs ahead by one. I think coach is going to burn some clock. <laughs> There's a foul on uh, a Talbert. Foul there on Talbert. That'll be his first, I believe. That'll be. Three team fouls on Clinch. And they'll run Tyler Moorhead out. He'll check in. CJ throws it into Rashad. Four minutes left in the quarter. Rashad will drive, turn around, shot is up and in. Nice take there by Rashad. Give him four points. Robert passes off to Jeremiah Williams. You got to get on him. He'll shoot it. Yep. Can't leave him or uh, Zach Robbins open. And Moorhead puts the shot up and in. He comes in, gets a quick two points, and CJ almost lost it. Nice pass there to Pope, but somehow Zach Robbins was on the floor and able to knock yep. the ball away. I don't know how in the world that happened. But. <laughs> Talbert drives and. We're going to have a foul as that dunk is no good. No, that negated there on the uh, it's be whistle. Up. So, no basket. And Clinch will inbound the basketball under their own basket. <laughs> Caleb Acoff set the check in. Which one made that dunk? That was Jeremiah Johnson. Number? What's his number? 11. Number 11. Okay. 
It's his second game with the team this season. Or second game, yeah, second game with the team so far. We get it into Robbins, and we cover him up at that three-point line. They almost left, left uh, Jeremiah Johnson open. They all about did. Talbert got away with the carry. Shot up there, no good. And rebound run down by Zach Robbins. And he's going to drive. Shot blocked by McGriff. Rebound by Acoff. EJ will drive. Yo, you're going to step, step up in the end. end. Nice take there by EJ. EJ. Oh, and they th throw the ball away, trying to get it down there to, to Jeremiah Johnson. That's fine. Yeah, tried that's, to get it ahead to him for a dunk. That's right. He couldn't hang on to it. 2.48 left, Bulldogs by three. 2.48 left in the first, that is. And Amari about had a backcourt violation there, and he'll drive. Loses the basketball, but Pope gets it. Gets it back to Rashad. Right, and he, he loses it, but gets it back. Nice save, EJ. Jay. Nice save. Yeah, he was. Oh, he traveled. <laughs> yeah, that was a travel for sure. <laughs> Pesky defense over here by yeah, the Panthers. Is. And Kyle Brockington will check in for the first time, and Pope will get a breather. 227 left in the first. Robert gets it ahead to Jeremiah Williams. Johnson will try to set a little pick and roll there, and they kick it out to Robbins. Fakes the pass, drives. Going to be a blocking foul, I believe, on, on Kyle. Yeah. That's two on Kyle. I think he just checked in. They, he started the game, remember? Okay. Well, that's two on him. So Robbins will be at the line for two shots. First free throw on the way. That's up and in. So I'm sure Jer uh, Kyle's coming out. Yeah, CJ will go in for him. Robin's second free throw on the way. It's up and it's in. 2-12 left in the first. Bulldogs by one. Need to get some offense going here. That's right. We get it to Mari and gonna have an offensive, offensive foul. foul. I thought that was a terrible call there. No. I didn't think he was there in set. No, I thought it was, that's two on Mari now. Yeah, I thought that was only his first there. No, that's two. Talbert with the basketball gets it to Moorhead. Moorhead thought about driving. Acoff uh, changed his double mind. Dribble. There. have a double dribble. <laughs> He's a good football player. Very good football player. He turns it over there, and the shot will throw it in. So Mari comes out. Yeah, baby. 145 left in the first. We're trying to get work it down low. We get it to EJ. He's got the mismatch. Turn around yep. shots up. Oh, man, no good. Man, he had the mismatch. Yep, had the short defender on him and just couldn't finish. Nice shot there, though. That was a nice shot. Talbert will drive and a little bit of miscommunication on defense. And Panthers reclaim the lead. Yeah, a little float one-hander, no good. Ball's tipped, but Clinch County will come away with it. Over to Talbert for a wide open three-pointer. Thought about to... it, drives, shot, no good, but he's hammered by Juan Pope. He's not as, as, as apt to shoot the three as the other two are. And that'll put Talbert at the line for two shots with 55 seconds left. We got six. Team fouls on the Bulldogs here. So, about to be in the bonus. Free throw on the way. That's up and in. Panthers with a two point lead now. Jeremiah Small checks in for EJ, and Jeremiah Johnson will come out as well. Talbert's second free throws up and in. 
Almost a steal by Zach Robbins, or tried. He's got a motor on him, too. He's just constantly running. He <laughs> does. CJ will drive. Up nice and layup up, up, up and rattles in. Bulldogs within one. 38 seconds here in the first. And I don't care what you say, that's a carry. That's Zach Robbins' three is no good, but Moorhead runs down the rebound. Nice pass to Talbert. Hey, over to – over to Ingram, and he's fouled, and Coach Randolph is curious about that. Not sure if he's upset with his player or the call. Oh, the player looked like he was juggling the ball the whole way up. Not... So that'll put Ingram at the line for two shots here with 25 seconds left in the first. Free throw on the way. No, no good. good. So we're in – they're in the – a lot of fouls yeah. here in this first quarter. Is that the correct score? Yes, it is. Okay. Second free throws up and in. Clinch with a two-point lead. 25 seconds left in the first. Akoff going to drive. Ball tipped out of bounds. And he's on the why he tried to save it. It was going out of bounds. Man. I guess he thought it was off him. I thought Moorhead slapped it out. Not so nine seconds left. Panthers with the basketball here. They can go ahead two possessions to end the quarter. Talbert going to drive. Kicks it to a wide open Ingram. And ball shots blocked. And Shaw just chunks it down. And that will end the quarter. Bulldogs trail it by two after one. We'll take a break and hear a quick word from our sponsors. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. All right, we welcome you back here to the Near County Network. Bulldogs trail by two after one quarter of play and lead the Bulldogs to have possession to start the second quarter. Bulldogs with 17 fouls, so Hicks County only with three. We got a little foul trouble here on your Bulldogs. Throw it into E.J. Brown. EJ shoots a three-pointer at Rattles. No good. Rebound by Zach Robbins. A little surprised on that shot selection. He traveled. It yeah, looked he... like. And ball's tipped, and it just seems like every loose ball is going right back to the Panthers. Jeremiah Williams with a shot up. No good. Rebound by EJ. And Acoff puts a shot up and in. Blocking foul. They're going to count the basket. Put him at the line for a three-point play. So Caleb Acoff there with a nice move. And he can reclaim the lead for the Bulldogs on this made free throw. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. He Four. is. And I was afraid as when that whistle blew, they was going to call him with a travel. <laughs> Free throw on the way. That's and it's good. 17 16, our, our lead. He ain't going to shoot it. No, he's not going to shoot the three. <laughs> He'll, drive. He'll drive it. And Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Acoff. And we'll have a it's jump ball. It's a big uh, clinch ball. But Caleb Acoff said, I ain't going to be pushed around either. <laughs> So, Kauf gets some. They throw it in. And it gets blocked, and that's a jump ball, and that's going to be our ball. <laughs> so, Bulldogs come right back and tie him up on that shot there. C.J. Johnson brings it down. Getting it down low to Pope. Turn shot well, up. up. Oh, almost. no good, but he's fouled. He'll be at the line for two. And if he catches that immediately and turns left, he's got a wide open layup. That's right. 
So 7.01 left in the second. Pope at the line for two shots. First one on the way is good. Second, Second one, no good. Nope. Panthers with the rebound. And Oop, Talbert, Talbert just about lost the basketball and goes off of a shot and out of bounds. That was good of a shot to stay with it, though. Yep. Talbot will turn around, shot up. That's no good. Rebound by Pope, and he He's was over hit. the back by number three. Yep, Moorhead will get called with that foul. So now yep. that'll be five team fouls on the Panthers. Sixteen fouls, excuse me. So next time we'll be shooting. Six thirty-eight left in the half. The shot will throw it in to CJ. So now the Panthers are getting in a little bit of foul trouble. That's good. <laughs> Call it both ways. We're gonna call it. That Moorhead is off. Man, Over. He, just, he just shoved Pope. No call. Uh -huh. He's Pope stripped there. Moorhead will bring it down and he'll take it up. An A awkward circus shot. shot. <laughs> awkward shot there. Yep. Rebound by CJ. And CJ clears it out and gives it to EJ. Yep. All oh come foul. on, man. I don't really call it like that. Adam to gate the basket. Foul there on number 31, E.J. Brown. I believe that's his second. Panthers with the basketball, 6-10 left in the second. Jeremiah Williams passes Moorhead up and in. Ties the ball game at 18. We got Amari on the bench. He's a little bit of foul trouble. It looks like Clinch is going to rest uh, Johnson as long as we don't have Amari in the well, game. Well, he's back. He's down at the scores table, so he's about ready to come back in. EJ, what was that called? Pushing, They're call it pushing on Robbins, I guess. Well, that'll be a one and one, and we didn't want the foul because he made the pass. Yeah. Well, and you say that he's checking in, but so is Amari, so oh, okay. that may be why. Yep. If I was coach, I'd leave Amari out. That'd keep Johnson off the floor. Because <laughs> we still got the height advantage. With him in there or without him. Mm -hmm. EJ at the line. First free throw up and no, no good. good. Man, missing one is like missing two on the one and one. Talbert, he's going to run right on in there. Shot was blocked, I believe, there by Pope. And we hey, throw it Pope. to nobody. Ingram with the basketball. He'll pull up a mid-range shot up and no, no good. good. CJ with the rebound. EJ with a three-pointer. No good. No good, That's and Rashad will run it down. Yep. 5-10 left, tied at 18. But not much offense here in this no. ball game. <laughs> a, lot of, uh, a lot of action. Just a lot of action. Points. Back and forth action. The Griff pulls up a shot. Wow. Uh, he was wide open. Yeah, he knows better now. Jeremiah Williams with a three-pointer. That's no good. Rebound by Rashad. That's the first shot I've seen him take outside the paint all season. And that shot, no good. Come and on. We're going to have what? a travel. And Pope thinks he was fouled. Yep. I don't know if he was or not. I can't see if people's bodies are everywhere. That's right. 435 left here. All tied at 18. Talbert pulls up a shot. That's up. That's no good. And Jeremiah Johnson runs down the rebound. He backs his way in. And they're going to be a foul right. called. And I thought it should have been an offensive foul. No call on the offensive foul. It would be a uh, foul on – blocking foul on uh, Amari. Hey, uh, that's three on him. They're going to take him out. Put Johnson at the line for two shots with 4.22 left in the second quarter. Acoff at the scorer's table. Free throw on the way. No, no rattles around and no good. So the Griff comes out, and if that is indeed three fouls, I doubt we'll see him back in this first half. That's right.
Johnson's second free throw on the way. And it's good. good. So Clinch reclaims the lead. 420 left in the first half. We got to get EJ Brown going on offense. That's right. There he goes. Pull up jumper that is no good. good. He's had two baskets negated on yep. fouls or travels. Ingram drives, shot up, no good, and tipped back up and in by Jeremiah Johnson. Lynch County takes the three point lead. Coach Ty Randolph with and a timeout. Rashad limping a little bit. Mm. I don't know if so he's cramping a, or what. I don't know. That's a full timeout, so we'll take a break and hear a quick word from our sponsor. back here to the Lanier County Network. The dogs trail it by three. They'll have possession out of the timeout. 3.56 left in the second quarter. Okay, has it. He pulls up a shot. It's That's up and good. in. E.J. Brown with a two-point jumper. It's his first points of the quarter. Robert drives, and he's stripped by C.J., and they're going to call another foul. That's garbage. Not yeah, a foul. He grabbed the ball. Yep. It's taller to be at the line for two shots, and that foul there on. I think Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah, excuse me. Not, uh, not C.J., Jeremiah Small. Bulldogs now with 10, 10 team fouls, being a double bonus the rest of the way in this half. Free throw up and in. Second free throw on the way, that's, that's good. no good. Rebound by Pope. EJ. A little floater up. That's no good. Jeremiah Johnson uh, might have altered that shot as he nearly had a hand on it. To get it to Johnson, they have a turnaround slam that he misses. <laughs> CJ Johnson brings it across. Drives, no, lays it up and in the tie the ball game. Style points don't give you nothing. <laughs> that's and that's a, a good, good foul there on Acoff. Yep. As he was uh, probably fitting to have a turnaround shot there. Got to put Jeremiah Johnson in the line for two shots with 2.57 left in the second quarter. Johnson's first free throw, no good. The shot will check back into the ball game for Jeremiah Small. I wonder if he was cramping. Maybe. Johnson's second free throw on the way, and that's no, no good. good. It's a good foul there by Aiko. If Johnson catches it that deep in the paint, he's probably going to score. That's right. He'll spread it out. That's a walk, travel. This, uh, he feels Clinch, like he got healed. This Clinch County team is very physical. Very physical. Tie ball game here at 233 left in the second quarter. Ingram gets it down low to Johnson, and That's he's push. pushed by Acoff. And I don't know what Acoff's arguing about. I mean, he shoved him before he even caught the ball. He did. So that'll put Johnson at the line for a one and one. 
Well, there's, no, excuse me, two, two shots two and shot, double, double bonus. bonus. Double bonus. Free throw on the way, that's up and in. I don't know if I'd put, put Thompson in the game right now. I probably would too, especially with Acoff got the fouls yeah, he's piling got, up on him. Yep. Second free throw on the way, and it's up and in. So, Rich County with a two-point lead here. 225 left in the half. CJ puts it up and in, or excuse me, EJ, EJ. ties Got it him. up. That's six points for EJ. Seems like he scored more than that. <laughs> I think he's had about two or three shots that get waved off. Yep. Fouls or travels or something. Ingram will drive, pass it to Johnson, and we'll pick it off. And EJ might have got away with a travel. And they're going to call a foul. Oh. Number 11, yep. Jeremiah Johnson. Yep. I don't know if he's saying number 11, number one, excuse number me. One. Okay, he was saying one and one. Okay, one and one. All right, call with the foul. Come on, EJ, need to knock these down. One and one here, got to make the first. Free throw on the way. That's it's good. good. Bulldogs reclaim the lead, 25-24, a minute 50 left in the half. Second one on the way, no good. Rebound by Tyler Moorhead of Clinch. Trying to get it down there, working low to uh, Jeremiah Johnson. Shot up and in by Clint. Yep. I don't know who number two is. Khalil Jenkins, I believe. Khalil Jenkins. Name. Yep. EJ with another shot. shot. No good. Rebound by Pope. Pope and he gets oh, pushed. Oh, pushed and no foul. Wow. Call. Golly. Man, terrible. Terrible call there by the official. He was pushed in the back. Jeremiah Johnson with the ball at the free throw line. He drives, shot up and in. Clinch County with a three-point lead with a minute left in the half. C.J. Johnson oh, drives, traveled. and they say he travels. I honestly didn't think that was a travel. 58 seconds left. Clinch County with a three-point lead here in Homerville. Walk it back down to Jeremiah. We draw the charge. charge. There we go. <laughs> so that's uh, two on him. Nice, uh, nice, nice uh, defense there by Caleb Acoff. Yep. That's how that's he sold that charge. Yeah, he did. Bit. A little maybe a little floppy, but that's okay. That's gonna be a travel. It's a foul before the yep. travel, though. Man, he's hammered. Forty-one seconds left here in the second quarter. Did they put that foul on? No, that was a travel. Excuse me. Yep. I agree that was a, that was a cheap, cheap uh, travel. Jeremiah Williams drives, puts a shot up. That's going to be no good. Rebound stolen away by Acoff. We get it ahead to EJ. A little stutter step, lays it up. No good, but he's fouled. Foul Put him at the line for two shots. So that'll be 10 team fouls now on the Panthers. Foul by Moorhead. How many fouls is that on Moorhead? I don't know. I have to go down there and look at the score table. I really don't know. I know they take putting Robbins back in, so I, I, they must be taking more head out. So EJ Brown at the free throw line. His first on the way is up and in. Nice shot there by EJ. Need these free throws. Taking uh, Acoff out. Don't want to get a cheap, another cheap foul on him. So we go small here, but there Johnson not in the game. I don't blame Coach. Mm -hmm. That's a good call. Second free throw on the way, and it's good. So EJ knocks them both down this time. Not all showing some heavy defense there. Jeremiah Williams brings it across and he'll Don't leave shoot a wide down. open three pointer and oh. nails it. Don't know why they left him wide open. They left him wide open for wide sure. Wide open. The coach is like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Ten seconds left in the quarter. E.J. Brown going to hold for a final shot, hopefully. He shoots a three-pointer, no, no good. good. He gets hammered. And 
Robbins throws it up at the buzzer. That's no good. After first half, Panthers lead at 31-27. We'll take a break. Hear a word from our sponsors. Come back in about 10 minutes for second half action here on the Lanier County Network. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Lakeland Drug Company has been Lakeland's hometown pharmacy since 1950. They're more than just medicine, offering personalized service, a drive-up window, and a delivery service. Located at 42 West Main Street in Lakeland, Georgia, you can call 229-482-3677 or visit them online at lakelanddrug.com. Lakeland Drug Company, more than medicine and a proud supporter of Lanier County Bulldogs. It's that time of year again. Time to embrace our community. Time for individual preparation to pay off and collective performance to reach new heights. So we join together and work to strengthen our bonds because it takes a community to achieve greatness. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, always the home team. All right, we welcome you back here to Clinch County High School. About to bring the second half action here on the Lear County Network. After two quarters of play, Bulldogs trail it by four, 31-27. And Eric, the difference has been turnovers and fouls. We've uh, been in foul trouble and had to, had to sit some guys and had uh, a couple of offensive fouls that's negated some baskets and a couple of turn, uh, traveling calls that's negated some baskets as well. So yeah, we got um, Amari with three. Kyle with two, Acoff with two or three. I can't remember if it's two or three. I think uh, EJ's got a couple. Yep, EJ's got a couple. So, yeah, we've uh, definitely in some trouble with some fouls. As we get underway, Clinch gets the ball to start the second half, and Coach Randolph going back with his initial starting five. And pull up jumper there, no good. Rebound by Johnson. Shot put back, no good, and Amari, good defense there, not draw a foul. Yep, just hands up in the air. That's right. No body contact, or very little. They call a, they call a foul on. Away from the ball there. Yeah, it's, on Zach, uh, Zach Robbins. That might be three on I Zach. Believe, I believe it is. He didn't play much of that second quarter because he was in yep. foul trouble. Mm -hmm. so he picks up a quick one, and that. That may be four. Uh, it could be. And that, that'd be good for us because he's a pesky little defender and he can shoot that three. Absolutely. So Get it down low to Kyle. Wide open. He misses it. Oh, man. Yeah, he a little too hard, a little too hard. Yep. As Clinch nearly threw it away. Talbert will pull up a shot. No, he's throw it to Ingram. Nice pass there to Simon. And and EJ strip. still strips the ball <laughs> after going past him. <laughs> yeah, nice there. Excuse me, that wasn't Simon, that was Nixon. We get it down low to McGriff, and he puts and it up and in. And Jeremiah Johnson just let him go. He didn't want to pick up a cheap foul. He could have slammed that one down, too. <laughs> yeah, it's going, okay. 
tip there, but stays with clinch. 6.55 left in the third quarter. Talbert drives, throws it away. We get it ahead. We Oh, man, we got to go with it. And shot up, no good. Amari tried to grab it. And Kyle rebounds it, but falls out of bounds. Be Panthers basketball. It's good right. hustle, though, good hustle. I really thought we was going to throw a lob there to yeah. Amari. A lot of times when you see Talbert drive through there like that, he's going to dish it off. That's, that's right. As uh, Ingram knocks that shot down to put the Panthers back up four. Get it ahead to Kyle. He lays yep, it up yep, and in. Nice little reverse layup there by Kyle Brockington. That hurts first points of the night. Well, it is. Okay. Yep, and Panthers Nixon come right back and score there. We get it down low to McGriff. He drives, puts a shot right up, up and in. in. As we're trading baskets here. That's good. Keep that offense rolling. Yep. Six minutes left in the third. Jeremiah Williams with the ball. Pulling it, pulling it back out. Mm. And Mari with the steal. He gets it ahead to CJ. CJ lays yeah, it, it up, up and, and rolls in, in, ties the basketball game. Amari was wanting that lob, but we just needed the points. We, need need the, the, we don't need the style. Need the points. Jeremiah Williams shot They're up. They're going to call and a foul on, on Kyle. Thought he had a clean block there. Yeah. Maybe he got him with the body, but that'll put Jeremiah Williams at the line for two That's shots. That's going to be three on Kyle. They're going to pull him out. Got the shot set to check in. Williams free throw up and in. The shot comes in for Kyle. He's not happy. He played well here to start this mm -hmm. third quarter. So Panthers reclaim the lead there on that made free throw. Second one on the way, and it's good. And the Griff's got to be careful because he just stepped in bounds before throwing the ball in. Officials didn't pick up on it. And I've seen him do that a lot of times this year. I see a lot of players almost do that all the time. Just Put both, both feet down and pass it in. And he gets hacked. Hammered by Jeremiah right. Johnson. Well, take that. Wonder how many fouls that, that is. That should on be Johnson. three at least. Maybe, maybe, four. I think it's three on Jeremiah. So that puts Amari and Jeremiah at three fouls apiece. And Griff at the, three point, at the free throw line, and Johnson will come out of the ball game, it appears. Yep. Free throw up and no good by Amari. Need to make the free throws. And Johnson will come out. Free throw number two on the way, and that's no good. Hey, just them break that one. <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah Williams. Oh, that's a double, double dribble. dribble. Yeah, you go. There you go. I don't know what he's looking at the coach for. I mean, you, you dribbled the ball, you yeah, stopped, and you dribbled, you dribbled it again. again. <laughs> <laughs> so, five minutes left in the third. Bulldogs down by two. Chance to tie or go ahead here. Definitely a little bit of height advantage for oh, sure. Pope with a nice fake there. Nearly lost it. Set it back up, CJ. Pop. There you go. There you go, Quan. Pope lays it up and in to tie the ball game. Panthers come right back. No good. Rebound by McGriff. He gets it ahead to CJ. Give it to Pope. Oh, oh and he went for the dunk, missed it, but Amari with the putback cleans it up. Yeah, he way off balance trying to do that. Oh, man, a cheap foul there on Rashad. As Tauber looked like he was out of control anyway. Mm -hmm. That's at least two on him, maybe three. But Coach ain't taking him out, so it must be just two. Get it into Tauber. He drives, puts the shot up and in. Ties the ball game at 39. Four, 18 left in the third. Bulldogs and Panthers. Trading baskets. We get it to McGriff in the paint. Oh, nice pass to Pope. He puts it up and in. He just flopped. Uh, and I'm surprised they didn't call. Yeah, they flopped. That was a flop <laughs> bigger than this. <laughs> there so goes Talbert. Dishes to Ingram. Hey. Shot blocked. I thought it was a clean block. Yeah, it was a clean. Everything. I thought it was clean, too. They're going to call that on. They're going to call that on Quan. 
I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Is that who they did? Uh, they called it on Quan. They didn't call it on Amari. How many does he, he have? I don't know. I'm not real sure. Is they he, don't put the fouls on the board here. I don't know why, but um, they have the capability. 15 actually come up limping a little bit, so he's cra stretching it out. He throw up and in there for in or excuse me, yeah, Ingram. Mm -hmm. 3.58 left in the third. Second one on the way, and that's good. Ties the game up at 41. We get it down low to McGriff. He lays he's it up and in. And thought he could have was fouled there as two. Kind of took his legs out yep. from underneath. And honestly, with Jeremiah Johnson out of the ball game, I'm a little surprised. That's a, that's a travel. A little surprised that uh, Coach Randolph uh, isn't doing more of that. Well, is is well isn't giving him a breather. I mean, especially in foul trouble. Well, here comes Jeremiah Johnson back in the game. If we can get another quick foul on him, I'd, I mean, I'd go right after him. Maybe CJ. He's go. been playing a little soft this half. Yeah, I'd go right after him. Boy, and I wouldn't go with him, but. Mari with a turnaround yeah. to reverse. Gets his own rebound, yeah, puts, puts it up and in. Nice put back there by Mari. He's got eight points in yeah. the quarter. He leads all scores with 10. No, excuse me, EJ has. Oh, EJ has nine. So, yeah, he leads all scores with 10. Jeremiah Williams with an off balance that's shot. A, that's a, that should be a foul on two. Yeah, over. Is. EJ ahead to CJ. EJ wants that three-pointer. He hey, puts he it up. Nails the three-pointer. Nails the three. Big-time shot there by EJ Brown. We get our largest lead of the night. Bulldogs by seven now. I don't know what they're celebrating. The defender didn't go nowhere. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jeremiah stayed right there. And try to open it up. Shot up. No good. Rebound by McGriff. They, uh, oh, Mari just lost, lost the ball. Jeremiah Johnson puts it up and in. Good no foul by CJ. Just let him go. Well, I don't agree with that. If he's not in foul trouble, I foul. <laughs> I don't give him that easy. Yeah, but up. as much as they've been calling foul, there's a foul on number five. on Jer uh, Jeremiah Williams. Yep. So but as mu much as they've been calling fouls, Clint, I don't know. I just – let him go. <laughs> I'd have reached out and tried to grab the ball or something. So, Panthers with three team fouls and Bulldogs with three team fouls as well. Here with 2.04 left in the third quarter. Bulldogs with a five point lead. I just think you got to attack the basketball with a. Uh, McGriff well, puts a shot up, no good. With CJ or somebody like that to try to get in the, you know, in the. The penetrating and let Jeremiah Johnson try to foul him in such a way. I agree. Um, so I don't. I don't think he's going to foul Mari, but I think he might. He might foul one of the smaller players. He may. That's a carry, but they're going to call Brock a foul on Rashad. And that might be three on him, at least. And a little bit of jawing going on there. And the referee told him to knock it off. Morehead checks back into the ball game. That was a backcourt. No, no. Yes, it was. His foot was on the other side of the line when he caught the ball, and then he went to the other side. Okay. Coach, uh, coach wanted see. it to call, too. Good defense there by yeah. Moore. And Morehead yeah. puts it up and in. I didn't see that. Uh, so. So, one eleven left in the third. Bulldogs by three. Ain't no need for him to try to go after it. Well. McGriff oh, slams it down. Oh, drives the lane and slams it down. Golly. Man. Wow. What, well, what a move he put on Johnson was, there. <laughs> Man, two-headed jam. Here I am complaining about it, and he just jams it down. <laughs> wow. Man. He just drove and threw that down. Man. Golly. Good gracious. 
<laughs> and Amari gets a breather. Good call here with 47 seconds yeah, left. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Man. Golly. Wow. That well, would have brought the house down if we'd have been in Lakeland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we got our little student checks over there. They're up about. Yes, sir. Well, Those by five, 40 seconds. Ingram with the basketball. They get it down low to Johnson. And we got oh, a, call, call a foul, cheap foul on, on EJ. EJ. Yep. I believe that's going to be three on EJ. A little surprise, Coach, leaving him in with 34 seconds. Yeah, there, I'd, I'd bring somebody in, Ryan or somebody. Shot no good there, and Panthers will rebound it. And Bulldogs come away with it. CJ going to drive the floor. And Give it to Pope, and he Woo! puts it up and in. Nice put back there by Pope. Okay, I'm surprised we didn't just try to run the clock there. And that's a travel there. The kid yes, pinned the ball against his side. Yep. They didn't call it. No. Good job by Caleb running back down here and getting in front of Jeremiah before they the scene. Absolutely. We got uh, Jeremiah set to check in for CJ here with 18 seconds left here in the third. <laughs> Throw it into Ingram, and he's going to drive and – Man, that's an offensive foul. No call. He just lowered his shoulder and knocked Pope down and no call. Yeah. Nine seconds. Bulldogs holding for a final shot. Rashad will drive. Nice layup. Up and in, in by yeah, Rashad. And that'll end it's the quarter. Game. Bulldogs lead it by seven. Nice layup there by Rashad Brockington. <laughs> Man. And as great as them two dunks were we've seen tonight, that little layup was probably – just as good, if not better. <laughs> right Absolutely there in the so. game. We're in the, in the quarter. Yep. So we'll take a break here in this quarter and have, hear a word from response. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. All right, we well, welcome you back here to the Near County Network. Got a good one over here in Homerville. We'll all lead it by seven. And they get a standing seven. ovation for their crowd to start the fourth quarter. Good play here in the third. We uh, played sloppy that first half, but yep. very good half for us there. That's right. We get the ball to start good, the fourth quarter. Very good quarter for us, that is key. Oh, yeah, very good quarter. We can't take the foot off the gas, though. Absolutely not. We get it down low to McGriff. And, man, that should have been a foul on Johnson. Uh -huh. McGriff, nice pass to Pope. Pope. He puts oh, it up. too oh, hard. Man needed them two points. Man. Yeah. A little man. too hard. Mm. Talbert will drive, layup up, block. They're going to call goaltending. They're going to say a goaltending. Is that right up there, 49? Yep, they counted the basket, so that's that's, that's a goal 10. Yep. So. He blocked it after it come off the glass. CJ gets it down there to Kyle, kicks it back out to CJ. Don't force the issue, just, just play smart ball. That's a timeout, yeah. good timeout there by Coach Ty Randolph. And, uh, a 30-second timeout. And Robin's holding his nose. I think EJ might have elbowed him in the face on accident. Yep. So just to give you a little rundown here, we got EJ Brown with 10 points. Amari leading all scores with 12. And CJ with eight and Pope with nine. Got Caleb with three and Rashad with six, unless I've missed some somewhere. That's, uh, that's what I got so far. And Kyle with two. If you count all them up, that'll add 54. Yeah, I can't do that math right now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Did you say 54? That's the same the score is for Lanier. No, 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 I didn't say 54, but I just uh, called out what each person had, and I can't add that up in my head right now. 
<laughs> 7.05 left in the ball game. They'll they call a foul on, on, on Amari, I believe it is. On Amari or on uh, – No, it's going to be on, on – Talbert. Talbert. Yeah. Uh, so, holding on Talbert. And Kyle's taken out. Don't we need to save him closer to the ends. Five team fouls on the Panthers. Four team fouls on your Bulldogs. We get it into McGriff. Over to Pope and over to EJ. We had numbers there, but he had nowhere to go. CJ going back it back out. Give it to Rashad. And Bulldogs taking a lot of time here, but that's okay. Don't force a shot if you ain't got one. That's right. And the Griff goes right to work. Shot done. blocked by Jeremiah Johnson. Talbert's going to drive. His shot blocked by McGriff and is a foul. foul. I believe that may be on CJ, though. Yep, foul on CJ. On CJ. F CJ hit the body, but uh, Amari prevented the, the, prevented the three point play. Albert's first free throw on the way. It's up and in. So, Clinch can get it to a one position game with this, if they make this free throw. It's, it's up, up and in. it's good. <laughs> Open it up, Coach says. CJ going to drive down, down the court at the end. Yep. Nice. That was easy. Nice layup there by CJ. And we're going to call a foul on uh, EJ. Yep. yep. Foul on EJ, and he's he's got to be getting – he's got a – he's probably got four on him. Maybe three. 6.15 left in the ball game. Jeremiah Johnson at the free throw line. Wish we'd get Keith's attention to see, but he, I know he's busy doing that book. Well, I wish they'd put the fouls on the board. That's right. Free throw on the way. Too no hard. Good. No good. <laughs> Second free throw on the way. No, that should have been a lane violation. They did. Oh, they they called it out. Yep, Robbins, uh, Robbins was in the lane a little early. So that'll, that'll negate the basket. Waved off the free throw. I think what they do is they wait to see if he misses who gets the rebound. Yep. But I don't know why. I just blow the whistle. They're going to call a cheap foul. Oh, oh no. Oh, blocking foul. Blocking foul there on Moorhead. And, and, it, and it was because he was kind of sideways yeah. trying to get in front of yeah, him. Yeah, I so. thought because he had his elbows out there, he was going to throw it on us, but he kind of – yeah. You know. Oh, that's a one and one. No, that's a shooting foul. Shooting foul. Shooting foul. Man. Yeah, that's a one and one. That's we, a one and one. They end, we're in the bonus. We're going to call a timeout. Coach is. So, uh, not, they was trying to give us the ball, the inbound, and that should be a one and one. That would be a 30-second timeout by the coach. Coach Ty Randolph with that timeout there. 5.59 left. I don't know if anybody said that recently. Well, I try to keep them updated about every minute or half of every 20 seconds or so and it gets close. But, yeah, remind me if I don't. <laughs> Got a barn burner tonight, fellas. Absolutely. Good ball game here in Homerville. And they're going to say we inbound the basketball. That's a one and one. Well, I guess that's, yeah, I, I don't understand that. It says seven fouls on the board unless the board's wrong. No, we got seven fouls. They okay. got they I'm, got five. I'm, I'm, I'm a, my mistake. No, I, I, we, right. I think we made that mistake last year. You're over right. Here. You're right. You're right. So my mistake. Five team foul, fouls on the Panthers. Rashad drives. Shot. Oh, man. Oh. Not a good, not no, a good, not want a good decision look. there by Rashad. So they're in the bonus. We're not in the bonus. Three-point shot there by Jeremiah Williams. No good. Rebound by EJ, and he's covered up. Passes out to CJ and Bulldogs with a five-point lead here. 
CJ gonna drive. Oh, an offensive foul there on CJ. He's gotta be getting on up there and fast Yeah, he's too. gotta have three or four. That's probably yeah, at least three, if not four. Yeah. 18 fouls now on the team. Robert drives, shot nearly blocked there, but no good. E.J. Brown with the basketball and Come on. be stolen be by Johnson. Now. Just let him go. Yeah. Johnson turns around, puts it up and in. Three-point ball game with five minutes left. Coach tell him to settle it down. Somebody's got to take over offensively here. Got a foul on foul. Johnson. Yep. <laughs> that's four on him. It's at least four, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's four on him for sure. Maybe we can get him to foul out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, attack him. Attack him. So all I can tell you is attack him. I think he thought that was five. He was going to the bench immediately. I think they're going to take him out of the game. Yeah, he's coming out. I believe that's full foul. So they'll probably take him out for a minute or two and put him back in to finish yep. the ball game. Oh, well, they're going to have a warning on the coach for a clinch. Nice. That's a block by oh, oh, man. man. What, a, what a foul. Oh, man, you got to blow the whistle on that. He just shoved him in the back. No call. Offensive foul. foul there. But, man, he just he shoved, shoved Pope in the yeah, back. Yeah, he did. Man. He's, he's got away with two or three like that tonight. He has. That was a very blatant call that yeah. he missed right there. That was awful. Right in front of the official. Awful. So, 425 left here in the ball game. Bulldogs ahead by three. We're looking to get it, and Rashad choose a three-pointer. Oh, no good. Rebound by the Panthers. Jeremiah Williams pulls up a shot. That's up and in. Pulls the Panthers within one. Oh, man, and they are letting him get away with all kind of contact. We lob it down low to McGriff. They got four players. Reverse layups up and in, and, I, man, I stopped keeping score over here. <laughs> Got so exciting, you stopped keeping yeah, score. I missed a couple. Robbins will drive a little floater yeah, up. That's no, it, no good. good. Rebound by Clint. Shot block. Rebound by CJ. Gets it over to Amari. He needs to push it to another player. That's a carry. That's why he don't need to be handing the ball like that. And you could call that almost. That's a warning everything. on our coach. Yep. And you could call that just about every every possession. He's, yep. These kids these days carry the ball like crazy. <laughs> so they've got one warning apiece on on our coach and on their coach. So yep. So. 3:25 left in the ball game. The shot tips that out of bounds. Jeremiah Williams with the basketball. Nearly lost it. Got to stay on him close. He pulls up a three-pointer. No good. Brick. Rebound back up. No, no good. good. Rebound. That one back up. That's and good. in, and that's going to be a foul on McGriff. Yep. Four on him. Uh, put Clinch at the line with a chance to tie the ball game. That'll be fourth. Did they put it on McGriff? I don't know if they put it on McGriff. They put it on uh, uh, Quan. Not quite sure. I didn't get the call there. Well, it must not be on Amari because I would imagine Coach would take him out with four fouls. Must five. be on Quad. Free throw on the way. No good. Rebound by McGriff. And he was pushed there. Mm -hmm. Bulldogs with a one-point lead. Three minutes left in the ball game. Very hostile environment over here in Homerville Lake. That's right. And EJ, <laughs> CJ nearly lost it. Pass the poke, puts and it he's up. Fouled. No call. 
Golly. No call. He's hammered again down there. These officials must not like Quan Pope for some reason. Three-point shot by Robbins. Uh, no good. In and out. And Amari McGriff will pick up that foul. Uh, I think they'll call him on uh, Rashad. They call it on Rashad. Uh, it is getting that, noisy in here. That is five fouls on Amari McGriff. Amari just fouled out of the basketball. You sure? Game. I thought they called him on Rashad. They was they handed up one and one. So or maybe it's five on Rashad then. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay. So 2.37 left. Panthers ahead by one. No, we are ahead by one. Excuse me. Excuse me. Panthers with a chance to tie here. Something's going on. What's going on? Uh, They don't think they gave him the basket. They're saying two shots. Free throw, banks it up and in. That'll tie the ball game at 58. They must not have gave him the basket. Must not have. Free throw so, on the way. And no, that was good. no good. Rebound by Kyle. Kyle, jump ball. And that should be a foul on Jeremiah Johnson. But jump ball call will be Panther basketball here with 235 left in the ball game. Jeremiah's running his mouth. I'd call a tech on him. <laughs> yeah. They ain't going to do that, though. Look at him. He just ran slap into him all on purpose. Jeremiah Williams with a three-point shot. That's no up good. and no good. Rebound by McGriff. Clears it out. Tie yeah. ball game here, 228 left. Going to be a, coming down to the wire here late. Coach. A good timeout here by Coach Ty Randolph. And that's a full timeout. We'll step away and hear a word from this punch. Welcome back here to Homerville. We got a tight ball game. Tie all tied up at 58. 224 left. Who has the ball? We Bull, do. Bulldogs have possession. Bulldogs has possession, and we had the possession there, right? That's so. right. Home fans are showering the court with let's go Bulldogs. And Lynch County fans aren't liking that. <laughs> we get it in to CJ. Both teams in foul trouble here. 2.20 left. Don't want to go to overtime in foul trouble. We get it down low to McGriff, and he oh, slams the basketball, basketball to take the lead by two. Man, jam what a there, two-hand jam there by McGriff. <laughs> and, and Jeremiah Johnson had to play he, soft because he's in foul trouble. And he misses the – Robbins misses the three. Uh, Jeremiah Johnson with the rebound, lays that's it up, a foul and he's for sure. fouled. Yeah, Kyle, would have, that was a good foul by Kyle. He's got – that would be four on Kyle now. But with one minute 58 left, you know, that's four on him. Jeremiah Johnson at the line for a chance to tie here with 158 left. Kyle telling coach, I'm good. Lead me in. First free throw up and in. Jeremiah could tie it with this free throw. He puts it up and, and no good. good rebound by CJ. Bulldogs need to score here. 150 left That's in the right. game. Half the crowd standing, half the crowd sitting. <laughs> A couple of them are in front of the camera. All right. Amari passes to Pope. He puts it up and then they say travel. Oh, man, and Kyle just punched that kid in the chest and the official wasn't looking. <laughs> wow. I didn't think that was a travel, but either way, Panthers with a chance to take the lead here with a minute and a half left. Robbins with the basketball. He dishes it off to Jeremiah Williams. Don't give him the open three. Talbert with it now. 
He's guarded by EJ. Talbert trying to draw a foul. He drives, little layups up and rattles in. Clinch County takes the lead by one with 110 left in the ball game. CJ Johnson passes to Pope. He lays it up and in. in. Bulldogs reclaim the lead by one. Man, it's going to come down to whoever has the ball last, Eric. Exactly. 59 seconds left. 62-61, Bulldogs lead it. We won by 15 in Lakeland. Zach Robbins, throw by the three. Drives, shot, no good. No good. Over, over the back, back. foul, over okay, there, he's out of here. And he's he'll out foul of, out of the ball He's out of here. See you, bye. Foul on number 11, Jeremiah Johnson, and that'll be five. That'll be five on him. So he's fouled out. And, and uh, he knows it. And Rashad's fouled out, and that'll put us at the line for a one and one on the other end. And Johnson is mad. He is furious. Well, he went over the back. I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a borderline call. <laughs> well, as many as they got away with tonight, we're going to call that a, a, a legit call. <laughs> Absolutely. So put Kyle at the free throw line. He can add on to this lead. Got to make the first one. Free throw on the way. It's up and, and in. Two-point lead with 47.3 left in the ball game. What do we like to say? It's the most important free throws, throws of the, of the night. night. <laughs> Kyle, crowd is thunderous here in Homerville. Free throw up. That is and, short. And he Terrible. didn't hit anything, but that's okay as long as he made one. Well, I've just got to play stifling defense. Don't give up the three. Do not give up an open three-point shot. Don't foul a three-point shooter yeah. either. Talbert with the basketball. He'll back his man down, drive, shot up, and he's fouled. Put him at the line for two shots. That's going to be um, – that's a te technical foul on Kyle. Did not need that. That's, that's going to be a backbreaker right there. Yep, he fouled out. And he got a tech. That'll pull it. Uh, that be line four shots. Four shots and the ball. Did not need that. That's probably going to be the difference in the ball game. Did not need that. That's deadly. They make all four free throws. They go up two, and then they get possession. Yep, and then we're going to have to probably maybe quick foul them somehow. Or 37 not, seconds. Not maybe right away, but we need to. Uh, Did not need the technical. <sighs> free throw on the way, and it's good. Talbert, an excellent free throw shooter. Second one on the way, and, and no it's no good. good. So, uh, Jeremiah Williams is going to come up and shoot the, the Tex. No, that, that was the Tex, I believe. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, then that's fine. That's good. Maybe he'll miss both of these, one of them at least. He's a very good free throw shooter. He ties the game at 63 on that make. But what hurts the most is they get possession. Yeah. With only 37 seconds, they ain't even got to shoot the ball again. Free throw on the way, and he makes three out of four. Gives Homerville a lead by one. 37 seconds left. And that technical foul hurts. Hurts bad. 30 second timeout by Clinch. Clinch. Yeah. Got to keep your emotions in check. Yeah, and he, he said something that that official did not yeah, like. Yeah, because Amari was covering his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he was. And we got chance of roll, red, roll here in Homerville. We got the game in hand. We just hope we can get a steal here and go down and score. Yep. And, uh, had a seven-point lead, I believe, was the largest lead of the ball game. Yeah, it's been a back-and-forth ball game, a barn burner. It has been. Get ball, the ball, So Clinch will throw it in from the sideline right at half court. Robbins will throw it in. And he gets it in to Ingram. He gives it to Talbert. Don't want to foul him. He's the best free throw shooter they got probably. 
The Navy yeah. looking to run the clock. Well, well, nearly man. turned it over there. That's five seconds or co coach called timeout. Timeout by Clinch County. That's a good timeout for them. It was. That'll be a full timeout. Uh, we, I think we're going to stay right here for the end of this one. 22 seconds left. Bulldogs are probably going to have to foul. Got to stop the clock somehow. Yeah. Bulldogs with a 16 and two record on the line, number two in the region. All these region games are very important. Every one of them <laughs> from here on out. I just don't know who would foul. I mean, maybe Caleb Agoff because he might not. He might be the one with the least fouls on the team right, out there on the court. Yeah, you maybe you're right. So, so Robbins will throw it in. He gets it to Ingram. Nope. They should have fouled Ingram right yeah, there. Yeah, they should have. He would have been probably the weakest free throw shooter they got on the court right now. And I would be almost throw it away. You got to foul. You got to foul. And they foul him there, and that'll put Homerville at the line with 8.4 seconds left. And got to hope he misses one of them. That might be five on CJ. I don't know. No, he's, he's still in there, so. That's going to be. Yeah, we're in the double bonus, so he's going to get two shots. That's right. Or they're in the double bonus. That's right. I hope he misses one of them so he ain't got to shoot a three to stay in there the game. There you go. He does. Oh, he misses both of them. Well, absolutely, dude. I hope he missed at least one. 8.4 seconds left. Bulldogs trail it by one. Not sure if we got a timeout left. Second free throw on the way. He, mi he missed, he missed them both. And Amari has the basketball. He gets it ahead to CJ. Coach calls a timeout. Real Very quick. good timeout there. 5.1 seconds left. Coach Randolph calls a timeout. Bulldogs down by one. Quick score here. Can win it at the buzzer. Woo -wee. Oh, man. So who do you give it to in this situation? EJ Brown. EJ Brown's who I put the ball in the hands of. If you see Amari wide open down low, we get it to him. But now does does Clinch foul? I wouldn't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get you. I get you. But as, as, as sometimes of our uh, inability to shoot free throws. Yeah, but if you foul, you put us at the line with a chance to win the ball game. Yeah, I know. So what an exciting game it's been over here in Homerville. Of course, we uh, had no problem defeating these Panthers in Lakeland, but it's hard to, hard yeah, to win but they over got, here. They gained a couple <laughs> players since we saw them last. They so, have. So they have. whether that's, uh, um, you know, design or or what it is, if it is what it is now. We can't do nothing about it. But, uh, you know, they're very small out there. So that's right. So five seconds left. Bulldogs with the with the ball. C.J. Johnson with the basketball. C.J.'s going to drive. He puts a shot up. No, no good. good. Amari tips it in, but it wave off the basket. It was right after the buzzer. Yep. Man. So, Homerville wins it by one, and they score on the court. Like they've done something special. Now they – Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go Dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender.
Lakeland Drug Company has been Lakeland's hometown pharmacy since 1950. They're more than just medicine, offering personalized service, a drive-up window, and a delivery service. Located at 42 West Main Street in Lakeland, Georgia, you can call 229-482-3677 or visit them online at lakelanddrug.com. Lakeland Drug Company, more than medicine and a proud supporter of Lanier County Bulldogs. It's that time of year again. Time to embrace our community. Time for individual preparation to pay off and collective performance to reach new heights. So we join together and work to strengthen our bonds. Because it takes a community to achieve greatness. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, always the home team.